My Lord, the Chief Justice of Rwanda, Honorable Justice Dr. Faustin Desiyal. My Lord, Justices of the Court of uh, Supreme Court of Nigeria, we are present. My Lord, the President of the Court of Appeal and Justices of the Court of Appeal, heads of other courts here present, the President, Chartered Institute of Arbitrators UK, Nigerian Brand Chairman, Chartered Institute of Arbitrators UK, distinguished speakers, panelists, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you warm felicitations from the Supreme Court of Nigeria and from the entire Nigerian judiciary. I congratulate the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators UK Nigerian branch for the trailblazing role it continually plays the world over with regards to arbitration and ADR processes. The contribution to the body of knowledge is exemplary. I congratulate the president of the institute and his team for hosting the first ever CIR Nigeria, uh, Nigeria virtual conference. I've been duly informed that the Nigerian branch has been consistent in delivering world-class conferences over the years. I believe that this one will not be an exception. Virtual conferences are the new normal in the Nigerian judiciary has joined the world in embracing the new normal. We remain committed to engage in whatever measures required for the efficient administration of justice in Nigeria. I'm informed that the focus of this year's conference is on court, the role of the judiciary in support of arbitration and the ADR processes in court. Whether with regards to support for the process or challenge or recognition and the enforcement uh, procedures. I understand that uh, the panelists will also be looking at how the Nigerian judiciary fired. On our part in the Nigerian judiciary, we have continued to provide policy direction and leadership in that regard. At all level of courts, <clears throat> the Nigerian judiciary has demonstrated support for arbitration engagements and the battle awards. It is also worthy of note that all levels of courts have set in place mediation units with the view to helping parties resolve amicably the issues that can be resolved therein. This is work in progress, and I place here a record of our continued support for such measures. Once again, I congratulate the leadership of the Institute, particularly the Nigerian branch, for what I can vividly see is a very successful conference. I thank my younger brother, Michael, for organizing this great conference. I hereby declare the conference open. <laughs>